Hey, Raptors fans, Ryan McNeil here, joined by Jason Turd. Jay, thanks for your time. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me, Ryan. Appreciate it. No problem. Big game for Toronto tonight. Philly's 30-27. and 27, Right. But they start 20-9, and nine, and they're in kind of a free fall right now. Yeah. This is a winnable game for Toronto, I think. Yeah, I, I really think it is a winnable game for them. Uh, obviously, Philly's probably going to be coming into this with a bit of a sense of urgency, given yep. that they're in a, in a three-team fight the for the Milwaukee playoffs. New York's fighting for that spot. Right there, right there. So uh, I think uh, the Raptors can win this game. It's going to be a real challenge. Uh, and not only because of Philly and, and their presence and what they're going to bring, yep. but we've seen now with the, the Raptors mathematically eliminated on Monday, how do you get up for these sort of games as we get into this last stretch? It's going to be pretty interesting to see tonight, I think. Yeah, I agree. And the other thing is Ed Davis. He's playing some really good ball. Yeah. And the interesting thing for me is when he plays in those small minutes, he posts big numbers. But when barnani has been out, he started, he kind of shrinks. So it's a Jekyll and Hyde thing for him. What are you seeing from Ed Davis? Yeah, I, I, I agree. It can be a Jekyll and Hyde thing with him. I think it's it's matchup based a lot too. When you when you put him in against maybe a bigger, uh, more stronger physical presence, he's gonna he's gonna maybe uh, re, you know and wilt a little bit against that. Helps too, right? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and I think he's thrived in that. Uh, so I, I don't think it's a surprise that we're probably gonna see Amir Johnson start tonight again, for example. Be uh, but uh, you, you know, Davis has really come along. Uh, his April numbers are, are, are definitely a, a little higher than they were at any other point this yep. season. So, uh, you know, I, I think he's really bringing much more of a, an assertive presence, a yeah. lot more energy. You, you know, he's from minute one, he steps on the floor. Uh, it seems like he's really being a little more assertive than he was yeah. earlier in the year. So hopefully that continues tonight. We'll see. He, he'll probably be able to carve out a bigger role now with Andrea Bargnani sidelined for tonight at least, and, and who knows how, long, how much longer for the rest of the regular season. Now, for me, he's one of those guys that's been hurt right. by that, was it a wrist injury, his first ro- rookie summer, that's right. and then no summer last year for him. Yeah. I think this summer mm-hmm. is going to be huge for his development. Absolutely, and uh, we've heard Dwayne Casey kind of harp on this, not just with Ed Davis, but with a lot of his players. What the lockout took away from him is a big thing that him and his staff uh, were kind of looking forward to, which is seeing these players in their own home environments, how they train, you know, how, you know, their nutritional habits. It could be, yeah. uh, you know, it runs the gamut. And, and this summer, uh, Casey has said he and the staff are really looking forward to that opportunity to be able to get out there and see how these guys train and, and design a program that's going to work for them and hopefully bring them back, you know, stronger uh, for, for the fall. So, The other big storyline, for me at least, is Alan Anderson. Sure. Started the last four games, I believe, and people are like, well, what about James Johnson? But what he's giving that starting five is a perimeter shooter. Yeah. 10 of 18 from beyond the arc, that's lights out. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely a bit of a different look than what James Johnson brings, not really known as a long-distance threat. Yep. So, uh, it, it, you know, you can people have been wondering. We've heard a lot on Twitter, uh, you know, well, why isn't James Johnson getting the opportunity? You know, what we don't know the nature of exactly why he, he hasn't been playing. But we do know that the guy who's replaced him has he's been has been pre- something different. Exactly. You need sometimes, exactly. Right? So I mean, he's starting again tonight against Philadelphia. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see if he can even pick up where he left off against Indiana. Yeah. A 13-point quarter in the third, 17-point uh, night. I believe that's a season high for him yeah, overall. Exactly. So we'll see if he can if he can keep it going, and and it'll be intriguing to see how James Johnson maybe responds. Yeah. And you know, uh, 38 starts this year for the Raptors and. You know, if he wants to maybe grab that role for next year, it'll be interesting to see how he responds yeah. from here on out. So, All right. Well, thanks for your time. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And Raz fans, enjoy the game. Okay.